Hi, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, in the heat of a September early afternoon at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, and I am so not over my experimentations with uh, my submersion technique. And so I'm going to try and be as quick as I can and introduce you to my Princeton Catalyst spatulas, which are listed on my Amazon link directly below the video. Good thing to have. Not sure how I'm going to use them yet. I think I just did a submersion. I know I just did a submersion, but I did one without, uh, without thinking too hard about placement. I think I want my submerged part to start up on one side. I also think if I use less of a puddle, it was a massive puddle around, I may have better luck. I also like to use white as well as black on the background for my submersion. I'm not sure that this is that one, although nothing's stopping me from going ahead and doing that anyway. So I'll just do that. All right, so this is what I did, is I took, where is it? This is the other half of that. Where's my bottle? Okay, I moved it. I cut one of those dollar store bottles that that splooge the paint all over your canvas when you try and use them that are cheap that you don't want to ever buy. Um, I cut one in half and I'm just going to use the, the, the opening that, um, that you screw the cap onto. And what I want to do this time is something a little different. I, I don't usually use silicone and you know what? I guess I'm going to go after it. So I'm not sure why it's not out there. I could have sworn it was. That's disappointing. It must be right in front of me. Like many other things on many other days, but I'm still not seeing it. So let's do it without silicone unless I see it suddenly. Where are you? No, I'm not seeing any silicone. So I'm just going to take some cool colors that I like, including some orange, which I wasn't really thinking about doing, and spreading. Yeah. Some really, really interesting colors. <laughs> I guess we're just getting ready for the next painting. I have a, a prime black canvas from Michael's sale recently. Right against the edge. That I want to uh, paint next with a shovel. I'm supposed to be doing black and white this week, but you can tell how well that's going. That is a Prussian blue that I added deco art medium to, which sells kind of nice. And where else is this morning's experiment? I made this color with unicorn spit, which I've been looking forward to trying for a while. And I think that's more than enough paint. But that's my favorite color. So let's use a bunch of that. And I didn't use any of this color, so let's use some of that too. And white makes, there's the white pearl. White makes everything sell if we're lucky. So let's see what happens. I'm going to still put a puddle around here. This time it's going to be a little of puddle. I'm going to loosen that ever so slightly. And I'm holding it up and I'm watching some of the paint. Yep, there we go. I'm looking to make some lacy cells. I guess it's probably a very good thing we didn't uh, go ahead with my plan of using the blaster silicone. Catch that before it hits the edge. This is accidental art in a sort of a contrived way, which is fine by me right now. I have edge catchers and they do what they're supposed to do. We're, this is working. Less is more. Wow. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Maybe if I don't tip it too fast, I won't ruin the effect. I am a notoriously fast tipper, but that is some really spectacular lacy selling. And I'm gonna recenter my paint to a, to a degree, yes. I'm going to check out where I want to go with that. 
and I want it all to come this way. And I am going to continue, hopefully, to not destroy my cells by too much agitation. I really like this in here, but I think what I want is to utilize my Prussian blue, which has the deco up for a medium. And I don't know, I hate to waste it, but I need to know. <laughs> I just need to know what's going on up there. So I'm going to get funky and creative and throw some more white in there. This paint flows to paint. And I don't necessarily want to lose the colors before the white, but I am pretty sure I will lose everything, including the white, as I tip. There wasn't nearly as much paint there as I expected. I am going to try and use my entire arm on this edge catcher. It may or may not work as well as I'm hoping. I'm going to let that all flow toward the edge and form a puddle. And hopefully fill it all up before it drips down everywhere and throw it right back on again. You got great colors this time. And I've got some naked canvas edges, which is fine by me. It gives me something to hang on to. Do I really? Or is that white paint? I did not put my glasses on. Are you surprised? All right, so I've got great paint on my edge catcher, which I could actually scrape off with one of my Princeton Catalyst spatulas if I wanted to and utilize. Oh, I got, I got runaway paint. I know it's probably dripping right down my edge catcher. I'm going to squeeze it right back on. Center that stuff. And let this go down again. Right over here. It's a because we can moment. I'm keeping my Prussian blue, but I did lose that white. And I'm going to send my paint right back again toward the center. Green is not my first favorite choice. I'm trying to keep my edge catcher from landing on my painting. I can swipe through some of these things. And if I don't, if I'm not sure about how I feel about that gold and I'm not, I'm going to let it flow right off under my edge catcher where I can also pick it up again. And I might want to. <laughs> I can manipulate where the paint goes by tipping. I don't want to lose it all. I've got quite a bit of paint on my edge catcher and if I want to use it, I'm going to have to do it pretty soon. Let's see. Let's grab a spatula. I think the long one, or I do have my flat front, which is my favorite, but let me let me entertain you. Um, yeah, I'm off the wall. Let's grab some of that. Hopefully without a whole lot of other stuff. Going places it's not supposed to go. We're not getting any mud. And I am getting some really interesting stuff happening that I'm liking a lot. not bothering me. I've got a naked space down there, so I'm going to do something with it. Let's see what else I have. I have gold. I like the gold. I'm sorry I can't get in near where you are. I'm just going to move all that paint from where it's at to right on that bottom. I'm going to throw that tool in the bucket. And what am I going to do? I am going to take... No, that's not the color I want. I'm going to do what I did the other day. And I'm going to allow that Prussian blue with the deco up, pouring, pouring medium in it, and some gold together to become a thing. And use my finger to let it go right down over the side. Now... I have some interesting selling happening. I kind of think I like that Prussian blue so much that I'm tempted 
to just add it right up in there and here. And for that, I'm going to pull out my skewer. And I can pick up the color sideways and just move it a little. I've actually been inventing some other tools in my head, so expect something new soon. We shall see how that goes. Yeah, that's not bothering me. Throw some spirals in there. That's not bothering me either. Got some pretty cells up there. That's the deco art pouring medium is expensive, but um, it does some nice stuff that I like. Okay, I haven't used any orange particularly, and I want some. I've got every other color in there. Yep, that's what I wanted. I've got paint all over that. And I've got paint on this, so it's time to clean some stuff up. That looks pretty bright, but I think I wanted a little shot of color in there. <laughs> like there isn't, yeah. Okay, I'm going to clean off my tool. And I'm going to hopefully, with any luck at all, yeah, that's not the tool I want. I want my skewer. I need a new batch of skewers. I'm just going to put some paint. Whoops. I'm going to put some paint right on. Right on my skewer and let it become a part of the process. And I did get a little splooge, but it's probably in exactly the right place, so I'm not going to complain about that. And if it isn't, it will be by the time I'm done with it. So this is cool, but there's stuff I want to change, starting with that. Keep wiping my skewer off. All this is an experiment, as per usual. Well, somebody's calling and they're not going to get me because I'm in the backyard and the sleeping man is napping. Oh well. They're probably just trying to give us a better mortgage rate anyway. They never stop. Usually, once you inquire, you're answering the phone for a long time. I want something over there, and I don't know what. And I want some white pearl. Somewhere else. Because I feel like I need some more negative space. So I'm just going to willy-nilly, <laughs> again, do what makes me happy. Yep, maybe a little more. I don't know. I like that pink, but I don't want more of it down there. What do I want down there? Something. I want something down there. I'm not sure what. I don't have nearly enough of my own favorite color. So let's just throw some of that in there. I know that was pretty up there, but... Um, Sometimes I have cravings and I just have to satisfy them. Plus, that means that I can steal paint. Ooh, I don't know where that came from, but that's okay. Let's just roll some of that up. Cover our edges at the very least. So if there's something else we want to do down there, we can. an interesting piece. There's a lot going on. Not sure it's my favorite piece yet, but I'm not done. Sometimes I just want to take another canvas and put it down on top of something with lots of paint on it and do a dip because it's easy. It always turns out kind of interesting. Sometimes really beautiful. There's no skill level to dips, but they're fun. So I'm seeing that I want to let this color have more play. Like a lot more play. Because I think it will make me happy. And I'm right. It will make me happy. Er. And then we're just going to run it through. Let it blend with everything else that's there. Maybe roll the skewer sideways a little bit. 
It will dry darker. It won't dry that color beautiful neon purple. I'll get a good wet photograph and I can always make pr prints from that if I want to. So I am loving that now. Sometimes just a little something something is all it takes. But I also think I want something up there to lead the eye around. And then I'm going to call it pretty good. Except for, yeah, she can't stop, you know. Except for I want some more white right there. But I don't want it to be that white. I want it to be the pearl. And I put the pearl... I don't know. It's not like they have far to go. <laughs> it's like I have paint gremlins or something. They're all in your head, woman. Yeah. I think that's not too far off from what I had in mind. I do have paint on my skewer. That's just inspiring me to do more. I'm sorry. I can't, uh, can't stop now. And down this way. Yep. I love the paint on my skewer actually just changes up the color scheme of wherever I'm running the skewer through. And I'm loving some of this more than I was a little while ago. I want some balance over here and I'm not sure what to do about it. That's a little better. I got two minutes left. I should tell you that I have PayPal and Patreon links for anybody who wants to help me continue by contributing. I don't have any other income. Uh, this is it. So I'm trying to do a video every day and help people learn how to do this so they can do it for themselves. The Amazon link directly below the video is hooked to products that I chose at no extra cost to you. If you decide to shop there, it helps me out. At the very bottom of the description underneath the, the video is a link to my Facebook album that shows the wet and dry artworks from YouTube. There are other Facebook pages. And if you can find Expressionist Art Studio on another Facebook page, you will also find a shop button that will take you to MyPixels.com and Fine Art America, where all the stuff I've ever posted, <laughs> over since 2013 anyway, is there. I'm pretty happy with what I've allowed myself to just indulge and do here. It occurs to me that we've got a couple of minutes left out of the 20 that my camera will shut off after. And um, I would like to torch. Someday I'm going to Rainix again, one of these. Rainix Original Formula. If you're using my Floetrol mixture for paint, uh, Rainix Original Formula will uh, create instant cells if you spray it 20 inches or so above your picture. So I'm not hating any of that. I'm actually liking it a lot. It does make me want to do what I was doing and put a little more paint right on my skewer. I don't know if you can see that or not. But by putting paint on the skewer, I pretty much get it a lot more where I want it to go. And I can just land it and roll it sideways for the most part. I want to see if there's a little a little more chance of me doing that again. Right over here. Maybe one drip there. A few drips here. Something's in my paint. Goodbye something in my paint. Let's torch because we've got a minute. That corner was bugging me. I couldn't help myself. I had to do something with it. We torched to get rid of the bubbles from mixing pouring medium and from shaking the paint. We also torched to release patterns because the flow trial will often allow patterns to be made. This is going to be really interesting to see what it looks like dry because acrylic paint always dries darker. And it's so warm out here today, and the paint has been sitting outside, that the torch doesn't seem to be making nearly as much difference as I would expect it to. I'm going to say this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio. Wishing you well, saying thank you for all the contributions so far that have kept me painting. Thank you for your wonderful comments and all the love you share. And I hope to 